I'd like to show you in this PowerPoint video how to make two new features in PowerPoint more interesting than the usual ones you might be using. The first one is on slide one. Now here we have four words on a PowerPoint slide. I've simply created these inside a text box and most people would normally make these into bullet points. One might say a bullet point slide. Instead, we're going to create a smart art diagram straight from the text and here's how we do it. Simply on the home tab, click on convert to smart art and choose your smart art diagram. I'm going to go for a process smart art diagram, it's called continuous block process. I'm then going to change the colours to add a bit of spice and to make it even more interesting I'm going to choose a polished smart art style. As it happens, my smart art object is quite centralised in the slide, but let's say it wasn't. Little tip here, on the format tab, align, distribute horizontally, and then it's not centralised in the middle of slide one. So, first tip, how to convert text into a smart art diagram. And here's tip number two. It's called morphing. Here we have a simple slide with a text box and a smart art diagram. I'm going to duplicate, first of all, slide two, so I, not, so I now have slide three as well. On slide three, I'm going to change the color, move the object down a little bit, down the actual slide itself, and again, give it some smart art style. Now, for slide two, the transition is going to be morph, slide three, morph. So let's see how this works when I run the slideshow. It's really quite simple. If I click on the slideshow button, you can see here you've got slide number two, left click, and it morphs down. 